Rusi Library of Military History has been an integral part of Rusi's work since its inception in 1831. King George IV described Rusi as a strictly scientific and professional society and it's this reputation that's built upon the primacy we put upon research and the breadth of our resources in our library collection. The library is housed in a stunning late Victorian room. It has beautiful floor-to-ceiling stacks and a semi-circular gallery. Uh, it's thought that actually the library is housed on the place which was King Henry VIII's bedchamber in the Whitehall Palace. It has been refurbished, but it really reflects the original design by Sast and Webb and Ingr Ingrisbell. So in our collection we have about 16,000 individual accessions on the catalogue, which are all available online. The entire collection is unique in its breadth and specificity. We cover warfare, we cover military history and military science, we also cover anything from nuclear weapons to peace operations, the rules of war, the collection is vast. We also have special historical collections covering um, Crimea, Boer War, American Civil War, we have vast collections on both World War II and World War I. We also go right up to the modern day. The library was set up in 1831 and it was also a museum at the time. The library has continued to expand, however the museum was disbanded in the 60s. Um, some of the items were donated to the National Army Museum and the National Maritime Museum and we have records of all the items we kept here in the collection. Some of our very old books have the original Rusi book plate in them, uh, dating from 1831. So this, for example, is Field Marshal Montgomery's memoirs, which he actually donated to Rusi um, from Berlin in 1946. Whereas this is H.G. Wells' um, serialised novel, The War in the, the Air, which originally appeared in Pall Mall magazine. And this was donated by the author to Rusi in 1908, and this is a first edition print. So over the next year we have a, a number of strategic aims to try and improve both access to the collection and preservation of the collection. This will mean replacing some of the notation on the books, having new signage, updating our catalogue records, our catalogue is all available online. We'll also be doing a lot of work looking after some of our more valuable items including conservation um, which uh, is very important. We'll also be doing a lot of work cleaning the collection and making sure that it's accessible to all of our users.